what is going to happen if the government says now you must buy your own treatment? It cannot afford to give everybody a treatment. It means now those who can afford will afford. They will go and buy. And what about those who cannot afford? You know what I mean? It means now those who cannot afford, then they will perish. You know? Hello, everyone. Thank you for turning on the blue light. Now, today on the spotlight, we have Kay Yams, you know. So we're just going to talk about her and the whole fracas that is happening in Cape Town. For those of you who do not know, there is an anonymous lady who went online and posted a list of men that she has been sleeping with without using protection, simply because she is HIV positive and she wants to spread it as wide as possible. Now, a name that is the same as KM's boyfriend appeared on the list now because of that a lot of people started speculating saying you know KM you should be careful of this man you know this man is not trustworthy you know you should do a HIV test you know what I mean don't do this don't do that and all of that and then pictures of this guy started circulating you know pictures of him being with other women started circulating online and then people were saying that you know this man is a cheatist and what's not and all of that you know and then now this morning km came up with a defense force defense mechanism of some sort you know saying that you know what you all all of the advices keep them to yourself because i don't need them you know you know nothing about my love life you know nothing about my boyfriend and i and all of that don't stick your nose to businesses that are not your own why am I saying that KM is defending the boyfriend? Because now KM is saying that all the pictures that are circulating online are not recent pictures of her boyfriend. According to her, these pictures are very old pictures which were taken when her and him were not together anymore. You know what I mean? She is saying that whatever it is that she was doing with those ladies, it has got nothing to do with her because her and the boyfriend were not together anymore. They've already broken up. You know what I mean? But at the same time, she continued to say that this boyfriend, you know, was contacting her contacting KMs to say, can we rekindle our relationship? Can we be together again? You know what I mean? And she said, no, she did not want because she did not want to associate herself with a man who is in a relationship with another woman, but yet is willing to fix things with her, you know? So she said she was not interested in any triangle that this guy was trying to build. So it doesn't make sense at all to say, if this guy was willing to make things work with KMs, but yet was in a relationship with another woman. What makes KM think that this man cannot do the same with her? What makes her think that this man is protective? You know, because if he was willing to fix things with KMs, but then he was in a relationship with another woman, it means this is not a trustworthy man. This is not a man you want to be with. This is not a man that can protect you. You know what? So because of this, that is why now I have doubt. How do you know if the name on the list is him or not? Because he's clearly proven to you that he is not to be trusted. A KM went on and made a HIV test. You know, to say, you know what, I'm going to prove to these people that I am not HIV positive. I am going to do a HIV test and then I'm going to post the results, which she did. And the results are negative, which is good for her. You know, we love that for her. Definitely. But do I think it was a good move for her to post the results online? No, I don't think it was a good move. And I want to tell you why. Because HIV negative status it is not a university degree where it's going to be attached to your name for the rest of your life, you know. HIV positive or HIV negative status rather, it is not a guarantee for life. It is not something that you do today and then for the rest of your life you are guaranteed that you're going to be HIV negative, you know. You can be negative today and then positive tomorrow. You know what I mean? Which I'm not wishing for her, but I'm just saying that should she go on and test tomorrow and find out that she is positive, is she going to come out to us and say, by the way, forget about those previous results. These are my new results. I am now positive. Of course not. So what was the point for her to come with these kind of things to us?
you know, because things that you put up on the internet, they always come back to you, you know, and she knows that, you know. So for her to be, you know, coming with such confidential information about her life, and then the next thing she'll be crying and say, oh, people are criticizing and all of that, but yet she is the one who's coming out and giving her life on the internet, which is really not worth it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, with this whole thing that is happening in Cape Town with ladies exchanging money for sex and all of that, I decided, okay, let me make a little bit of research about HIV and AIDS. You know, this is a very complex virus. It's a difficult virus. It's very difficult to treat. That is why it's difficult to come up with a cure. You know what I mean? So we have different types of HIV, you guys. Let's just educate each other here. For those of you who do not know, you know, don't go around thinking you are spreading HIV and AIDS because like I'm saying, we have different types of HIV. You know, we have different strains of HIV, strain A, B, C, D, E, F, G, you can name them. And there are uh, new strains that are discovered each and every day. So what, what do I mean by this is that each and every person's HIV is not the same. You know what I mean? The HIV that you have is not the same as the HIV that the next person has, you know? So if you're going to go around, be reckless because you already are infected, you are putting yourself in a risk of becoming reinfected. Do you understand? So if you are already taking a treatment, their HIV, and then you think when well, nah, you are on it anyway, you're going to be reckless about it because you don't care. Otherwise, you are infected already. Let me take this opportunity and educate you once again. Nay, if you are HIV positive and then you are taking treatment and then you meet another person who's HIV positive, they are going to infect you with their own virus, which is different from the one that's already in your body. You know what I mean? And in some cases, if you get so unlucky, it might happen that if you are taking treatment for the HIV that is already existing in you, the other person who's going to reinfect you, their virus might be stronger than you, you know, and the virus might not uh, react to the kind of treatment that you are taking. You know what I mean? So if you are going to be infected or reinfected by an, another type of HIV, it means now you have two kinds of HIVs already in your body. Do you understand? And it might be difficult for the ARVs to work on your system, you know, because now it has to fight this type of HIV and then now there's another new HIV that has been introduced to your body. So you are just reinfecting yourself and you're putting yourself in danger, you know. So you wonder why, you know, because some people are thinking, oh, HIV is just one of those things anyway, you know. If I get it, I don't worry because I'm going to get treatment and get well, you know. You ask yourself, why do we still have people who die from this disease you know sometimes it's because people become so reckless about this they get reinfected and reinfected and super reinfected you know what i mean because they just don't care they just become careless because they think oh i already have it so i don't have to protect myself or anybody else do you understand? So you have to be careful. While all the people that you are trying to reinfect, you might come across somebody who's already infected and is also in the pl same plan of infecting other people. And you and this person are going to reinfect each other. Do you understand? And then if you are going to be so not protective of yourself as a human being, it's not going to help you because both HIV positive and HIV negative people should have a positive mindset when it comes to HIV, you know, because if you are positive, you have a chance of being reinfected, you know what I mean? And then if you are negative, you have a chance of being infected. Do you understand where I'm going with this thing? Protect you, yourself against reinfection if you are positive. You must protect yourself against being infected if you are negative. You know what I mean? So one way or the other, you need to protect yourself, you know? And then again, if who are you trusting if you are not protecting yourself? You're trusting your partner to protect you? Huh? Or you're trusting the government to give you treatment after you being infected? You know, who goes around and trusts the government? Because as we speak right now, we do not have electricity. We have load shedding every now and then. 
You know what I mean? And I just want to tell you this, to say, do not trust anybody. Even the government is not to be trusted with anything. They are deliveries and everything else. Because as we speak right now as a country, we have an electricity crisis. They cannot provide electricity for us. You know what I mean? And then for those who can afford, those who have money, they can afford to go and buy solar panels. They can afford to go and buy inverters and all of that but what about those who do not have money to afford those kind of things i'm an inverter and solar panels and all of that so it means we are all left in the dark you know and those who can afford they are now you know having their own means to provide their own electricity you know what I mean? So what I'm trying to say to you is if you are trusting the government with your life to say, you know, I'm going to be careless, I'm going to get reinfected, I don't care, or I don't care if I'm getting infected, I'm just going to go around and sleep and become careless with sex and all of that. What if you are infected today and then you think, oh, okay, it's fine, I'm going to go to the clinic and look for treatment. When you get there, then they tell you that they have ARV shedding. They can't just give ARVs anymore. Or you go to the clinic and they tell you now you have to buy treatment because the government cannot afford treatment anymore. What are you going to do, you know? So it's going to be a problem for all of us. Should that happen? I'm not wishing for that to happen. But I'm saying the type of government that we live in wants somebody to be smart with their own health. Do you understand? Yes. So what is going to happen if the government says now you must buy your own treatment? It cannot afford to give everybody a treatment. It means now those who can afford will afford. They will go and buy. And what about those who cannot afford? You know what I mean? It means now those who cannot afford, then they will perish. You know, because now as we speak with electricity crisis, those who do not have, you know, money to go and buy solar and all of that, they are perishing. You know what I mean? Where else those who are richer and they have their monies and all of that, they're not even feeling anything about this load shedding. So all I'm saying is just protect yourself. There's no, no nobody else is going to protect you. If you are failing to protect your own self, then nobody can protect you. Not even your partner, not even your mother, not even the government, you know. So you cannot rely on government for anything, you guys. Do you understand where I'm going with this? So I'm not trying to say anything about HIV positive or negative or what is wh whatever. We all should have a positive mind when it comes to this HIV thing, you know, and I'm going to repeat myself. There is reinfection, you know, something that can put your health in risk. You are going to reinfect yourself with somebody else's virus, which means now you have to go to the hospital and then they must change your treatment. Weibo. So that they give you a treatment that will, you know, know how to fight the new infection. Do you understand? So you do not want that. Do not give government a burden on top of the burdens that we already have as a country. Do you understand? And I know that HIV is not a choice. You guys, you know, it is not a choice at all. All of the people who are infected, you know, we pray for them each and every day. They did not choose to be positive. You understand so for somebody to just be as reckless as that it goes to show how you know naive we are as a nation Do you understand so let us go out there and educate each other about this thing you And then this thing of trying to infect as many people as possible, you are indirectly infecting people that you love, you know, because when it comes to sex, there's no stranger. We are all, you know, connected. You know, if you are choosing to be sexually um, active, it means you are now coming inside the network and you have no stranger when it comes to this, you know. So what I'm trying to say is if you are infecting people, 
deliberately so. You are going to infect somebody who is going to infect somebody who is going to infect your child one day. Do you understand? So you are indirectly giving HIV to people you are not intending to. Do you understand? So let us just be informed and let us be stay alert and let us protect ourselves because you got yourself to protect you can only rely on yourself for protection and no one else. But then otherwise, it is what it is, guys. Do leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this whole situation. Otherwise, don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Thank you for listening.